Call of Duty has been a very interesting series throughout my life. It's played an important role. And in my last video, in my return to YouTube commentary, I mentioned at the end of the video, because the newest Call of Duty Infinite Warfare will be coming out within the next few days, I will not be giving tips and tricks regarding Black Ops 3 because it's kind of irrelevant. It doesn't matter. There's no need to do it. And I'm going to stick by what I said. But I'm going to talk about core and hardcore game modes and what I plan on doing for Infinite Warfare, what ideas I have, and so on and so forth. What is the plan for Infinite Warfare? I'm preparing now to get some good gameplays. I want to be at the best of my ability in the Call of Duty series. So first off, this is a solid kill confirmed gameplay and the reason why this gameplay is special to me is because it's core and like I previously said at the beginning of the game of this commentary, Call of Duty's been rather interesting for me. I mentioned core and hardcore game modes. So, throughout the series, when I started playing back in middle school, I either played hardcore and I stuck to that, or I played core and I stuck to that. In World at War, I stuck to hardcore because the core game modes kind of bothered me. I played a lot of hardcore search, and that's basically what I did. And then I played core for the next few games, and then, now here I am again in Black Ops 3, and I cannot stand core game modes. It just doesn't work out for me, so I stick to hardcore, and that's what you noticed in the last game on the Domination on Infection. Yes, so the problem I have with this game's core layout, uh, or how it works, is, I mean, a lot of people may not have any problems with it, but let me tell you, you can shoot somebody 20 times in this game, and nothing happens. They just turn around, and they pop you. And also, you go through ammo so quickly in core, you don't even have time to get multiple kills in one clip. I mean, you could put on extended mags or whatever, but... You know, it's kind of annoying, because I don't, I never had to do that in the older games. Like, Modern Warfare 3, I could run around with an ACR, and I'd be fine. Was there an ACR in Modern Warfare 3? I can't even remember. I think there was. Wow, that was such a long time ago. And you know, with all of the time I spent playing that game, I should definitely know that. I have over 100,000 kills on multiplayer for that game, and I don't know that. Okay, anyway, for Infinite Warfare... I, I haven't seen many videos on the game, I haven't watched many gameplays, but I have seen a few, and Core looks pretty smooth. I mean, nobody on YouTube that I know of plays Hardcore. I know there's people out there, because whenever I play Hardcore, I see people's emblems like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and most of which... Most of these people are really annoying because they are spawn trappers, and they get these really high-scoring gameplays by spawn trapping people on maps like Nuketown. Anyway, um, I lost my train of thought there. Infinite Warfare, I'm going to do my... I, I always try my best to stick to core, because core just seems like the better way to go all the time. But this game, for example, was so rough to play core on. I don't know how anybody does it. I really don't. Maybe it's because I play solo. That's another thing. Playing solo really gets annoying at times because if you get a decent kill-death ratio, I'm, I have a 2.5 KD, which I guess is pretty good on this game. I don't see many high kill-death ratios on this game, so not to brag or anything, but <laughs> it could just be because hardcore is easier. But either way, I play hardcore in this game because not only does core screw me over all the time, because I have good aim, I just always... I guess I'm not shooting them in the right areas. Maybe I'm shooting them in the toes or something and they're just not dying. But hardcore, I do well because... I have very quick reaction time, and not only that, but I have good aim. So if you have good aim and a quick reaction time in Hardcore, you get the kills that you deserve, really. I mean, in Core, you could deserve the kill, and you're just going to get popped by a noob, and he may just panic slap you with his gun, or whatever. And that's another problem I have. I mean, I'm, everyone faces this problem, but in Hardcore, you can run around a corner and slap somebody, and they'll die immediately. I don't like the idea of having to switch to a melee weapon to 
kill somebody in one hit in core. I mean, if they're already injured, that's a different story. But you get the picture. It's really annoying, like, walking around a corner and obviously having the quicker reaction time, hitting them, and then they just pop you with a shotgun just like that. I don't know. It's kind of annoying. But once again, everybody has to deal with it if they play core. I'm just a baby about it. But that's really why I don't like playing core on Black Ops 3. I'm not hating on core on really any other game, not even World at War, even though I didn't play core on that game, because I just enjoyed hardcore in that game, for instance. But this game, I physically just play hardcore, because core is rough. It really is. And I don't really prefer to use submachine guns. I like the assault rifles, just in pretty much any game I play. Because it's not because I like to camp. I play, play the objective. I mean, you're watching this game right here, I play the objective. Um, Sometimes I'll sit back and try and get score streaks for my team. It depends how the game's going. I mean, if the team is really struggling, and I realize even if I'm playing the objective, we're still going to lose unless I do something about it, I will go and get score streaks to try and help my teammates out. So therefore, not only can I play the objective, they can contribute as well. All right, so I'm starting to ramble a little bit here. I mean, I really don't have much to talk about because I don't want to go into detail about like gameplay in Black Ops 3. Whenever Infinite Warfare comes out, I'll have more to talk about. But anyway, I got a core gameplay which made me very happy, and I got that cool taunt. By the way, I just remembered I got that, so I was cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, this should be my second video uploaded for today. Thank you all for watching. Final score: 47 and 8. I think I can't read that. I will catch you all later. Bye.